why should I take the time and create materials procedurally? Because the internet is full of incredibly good textures. And uh, Lionel told us yesterday how you can use them and uh, what's the best way to, to set materials up using those textures. But there are some situations where procedural materials are also either a good alternative or maybe even better. So, well, procedural materials really come with many advantages. And one of them is you don't need textures, which means, or not as many, which means that, well, you lower the risk of uh, missing dependencies uh, once you want to share the project with someone else. You also have a smaller project size. And the other thing that is cool is that shaders are always mathematical. Well, this term might be a little bit scary, but what it means is that those textures are procedural and resolution independent. So you could go from, well, a very wide shot into a close up of this wood material, for example, and it would hole up in all distances. And the other thing is that, especially when you're working with noises and so on, then you don't even need UVs. There are procedural materials, of course, where you, or shaders, where you need UVs, but many of them are, well, well, you can use them without UVs. 